this is Mrs. Winstead and today we're taking a look at the three different types of graphs. So types of graphs is what we're going over here. Um, the definition of a graph is it's a visual display of information or data. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Graphs can usually pack in quite a bit of information all in one space. So it's kind of important to know that. A line graph is used for showing quantitative data trends or changes over time. When you have an IV and a DV that are both quantitative, aka both sets of numbers, so the first column is numbers and the rest of them is numbers, you have to use a line graph. So here's an example of a line graph. See how we have numbers, it counts by something on either axis, time and position are both measured with numbers. Um, and this is actually a multi-line graph. You will do one of these at least this year in our class. So that is a line graph. It must be used when you have two sets of quantitative data. A bar graph compares categories of data. So if your independent variable is not quantitative, these are words, so they are not numbers. So we would use a bar graph for this to show different colors. Um, you could use different cars, different types of pizza toppings, you know, anything that you describe using words is going to go well in a bar graph like this. Now, pie chart used to show percentages. Um, so here I have my percentages. Forgive my coloring job. That was kind of difficult to do perfectly. But uh, the key word here is percentages. If you have a data table with percentages in it, this is the type of chart to use. So this didn't have percentages, this just had numbers, so now we have a bar graph instead, but this had percentages, so we need to use a pie chart. So those are it for the three different types of graphs. Um, for your assignment, you're going to need to match up what type of graph goes with each of the data tables and then actually produce that graph. So good luck, have a good day.